What was the injury, Don? Uh, I tweaked my groin. Can you just talk about your feelings after, uh, I know how much you uh, wanted to win this one for yourself and your teammates. Yeah, it's obviously very disappointing. Uh, not just one, losing this one, but losing four in a row to them. Uh, you got to give them a lot of credit. You know, they, they've handed it to us the past four years. They've outplayed us. Is there an edge that they have, you think? Is it physical? Is it mental? No, I think it's us. You know, not playing our, our style of football. It's turning the ball over. It's not stopping them on third down. It's it's us. It's not them. Talk about their defense and the troubles you guys had at times protecting Taj and just the way they kind of collapsed the pocket. They got a great front. Uh, you know, we weren't able to get in a rhythm. I think they had the ball, you know, 90% of the second half. Uh, it was very hard to get in a rhythm and get things going. Uh, and we got down, you know, they just kind of pinned their ears back and, and rushed the quarterback. So it, it was tough. Uh, you know, our... Our offense has built a lot on getting in a rhythm, and we weren't able to do that. Some of the emotion, again, obviously the, the four straight losses, but this one takes away a shot at the Sugar Bowl or any BCS Bowl. Does that compound the frustration? Not really. Uh, you know, for us, every game's a Super Bowl. Uh, you know, this one, we had a little extra ump on the end of it, you know, being Carolina. But, you know, for us, it's about just trying to go correct our mistake because it's not anything they did spectacular. It was just us making mistakes. How's your knee feeling right now? My knee's fine. It's my groin. How do you, how do you regroup and get the guys focused to, to go to this next level, next game? This, this kind of thing? Well, it's all about us. I mean, the good news is nobody's lined up and just beat us. You know, we beat ourselves. And uh, when we've played our style of football, when we've taken control of the ball, taken care of the ball, good things happen. But when we go out there and, and just sputter and beat ourselves, some bad things happen. You guys have done a lot of good things here as a senior class. Um, obviously, you know, when do you reflect and try to look at the, the bright side of a, of a really good 10 and 2 season? Well, we have done a lot of positive things. Uh, but, you know, in sports as, as well as life, you so said, what have you done for me lately? And, uh, you know, losing this one's going to gonna put a damper on my career and everybody else's career. And uh, that's one of those things that everybody has to just kind of put behind them, use motivation for the years to come and not let it happen again. A year ago, you guys probably had your worst offensive game in a couple of years. Is this one hurt as much or more? I mean, being a senior, it obviously hurts a little bit more for me. Uh, you know, we just beat ourselves tonight. We were able to move the ball uh, at times. You know, we had a 16-play drive, I think, that we scored on early. Uh, we were in a rhythm. Everything was clicking. And uh, just as the game went on, you know, we were going a lot of three and outs. And uh, we were just pressing a little bit too hard and couldn't ever really just get the rhythm. I wondered about patience because it seemed that because you didn't find the rhythm, maybe you, as, as a group you got a little impatient about what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, uh, this offense is built on a rhythm. And when you can't get in a rhythm, you try to, you know, get a spark. And, uh, you know, when you don't have a spark, you know, it's, it's tough. Dalton, is the senior leadership on this team, will that make it easier to move past this one and get ready for a bowl? Yeah, we're going to do everything in our power. I mean, the biggest game is the next game. And uh, what